What I'm going to cover here today is a look at how to enable versioning with SharePoint Online. So what I've got here is a blank SharePoint site. The only thing that I have in my SharePoint site is a uh, document library, as you can see here. And I'm logged in as a supervisor or an administrator here. Now, to enable version control in uh, a SharePoint item, what you need to do is navigate to the item. So we're going to uh, navigate to the document library. So we just click on the word document there or documents over here on the quick launch menu. Now that we're in our document menu, we'll see that there's nothing uh, nothing in there. If we go to uh, library and then select library settings. Now we need the rights to be able to do this and so not every user may have this right. Generally, um, only administrator will have this. Now in the second column here under general settings, you'll see that we have an option here called versioning settings. So if we select that, now generally by default what you'll find is that SharePoint will create major versions for you in a, a document library automatically, so one, two, three, um, four. So every time you create a document uh, or edit a document it will create a major version for you. But you can also select here to turn versioning off or we can go in and create a minor and a major version. So our minor version will be considered a draft version and will be a point release and our major version will be a 1.0. Now under this there is the option here to limit the number of versions to retain. Um, best practice is always to ensure that you do limit the amount of versions to uh, what is required. Generally 5 to 10 is the best um, option. Down here we also get the ability to set our draft item security. So at the moment any user who can read the item so that means any user that has access to this library and can view a document is able to view not only our major versions but also our minor versions so they can view the draft versions. Now in this case that's not what we want so what we're going to do is change that option so that only users who can edit items can actually see the point releases so our drafts. Now with that you'll also see that we have the ability here to uh, force uh, check in and check out if we want but we're not going to change that so we hit OK and that will then update the settings for our document library. Now what I'll do here is I will go in and select new this will uh, then give me the ability to create a new uh, office document using Office Online, in this case Word Online. So what I'm going to do here is um, basically type in some text and what we'll do is we'll allow that to save. You'll notice that it is saving if we have a look in the bottom middle here you'll see that it now says save. So we can now go back to our site here and we should see that we have a document here in our um, document library. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to click on this again to go in and edit this for a second time. So now that I've clicked on it for a second time and I then go up to edit a document and editing Word Online, what it's going to do is create a version for me. So um, because I've got drafts turned on, this is going to be my second draft version. So again, you'll see that I have uh, the document saving down here in the middle. So I'll give that a minute to save and update. Now once I've done that and I go back to my site, what we'll have a look at is we'll now go in and have a look at how many versions of this document there are. So to do that we select the document by placing a check mark in the left hand side and then going up to the manage icon. Now from the menu that appears we want to select version history. Now you'll see that our version history gives us basically three dot um, or draft um, versions here. So we've got 0.1, 0.2, Now if we hover over any of these, uh, the modified dates, you'll see that we can view them, we can restore that version and we can delete that draft version. Okay, so now we've got a whole lot of draft versions. Now what I'm going to do, what I have over here on the left hand side is a user who is logged in um, to the same document library but also only has the ability to view the document. So there's no edit rights here. Now, if I refresh their page, 
what we'll see is we will see that there are no documents viewed because remember the documents on the left hand side on the right hand side here that we created as an administrator basically are draft versions and we went into our library and we set our versioning so that only people who could edit can actually see our drafts now for someone who doesn't have that ability what we need to do is publish a major version now we do that by selecting the document again selecting the uh, manage icon at the top there and you'll see one of the options in the menu is to publish a major version so when we publish a major version we need to give it some information so we'll do that go OK alright so then that will publish a major version so if I go back again and go into manage and then have a look at my version history what you'll see is I still have my dot point so my point one and point two now the point three that I was working on I have converted that or published that as a major version now if I look at the ordinary user here on the left hand side and refresh their page what I'll get is you'll now see that document so that means that they will only see this major version that I have published so if I pull this down here again you'll see that I can go in and view the document and see what is available so I've got access to that document in this case the user only has the ability to view and do nothing else so they can see that major version if I go back to the right hand side of the administrator I'll go in here and I will now edit that document once again so what I'm going to do is obviously go in here and edit with Word online again okay so what I'm going to do here is go in and make another edit and we'll give it a second to save which we've noted again in the bottom in the middle there let us know what the document status is so when that's saved um, we'll go back to our site and we'll again have a look at our versions so remember that we had uh, two draft versions then a major version before this edit now that we've done another edit if we now go in and have a look at our version history again what we'll see is we have again our previous two drafts our major version and now we have another draft based on our published version so again if you remember if we actually go into this uh, document here okay so what I'm seeing in this document as an administrator or someone who has rights I have the ability to see the three edits so I have the ability to see the latest draft version that I've created now on the left hand side here if I go in what we'll see is we're only seeing the major version so we're, only, we're seeing one the major version that's been displayed so we see only see the two edits so again what we've been able to do here is that depending on the security set up for the library and also the options you set for the document library in the version versioning settings you can control exactly what a user sees so in summary what you do is you basically go to a document library you go to the library tab and select the library settings and then go to versioning settings here now from there you'll find document version history option and here you can select from three options no versioning only major versions or major and minor when you select major and minor the minor versions will be known as draft versions it's also recommended best practice that you limit the number of made not only major but also minor version or the drafts as well so that prevents too much space being consumed especially if a document's been worked on constantly now the other setting that we made here was the draft item security so if we turn on the ability to do major and minor versions then we have an option here that allows us to control whether every user who can read the library gets to see the draft versions or whether only a user who can edit or make changes to the library can see that draft and that's what we've set here only users who can edit the items basically have the ability to uh, look at draft items now once we've turned that on and we go in and we edit we make changes to the document this is automatically tracked by SharePoint we can select the document and go into manage and you'll see down here that I have the ability to look at the version history 
So in this case, I've had two draft versions, then published a major version. That major version then is available to all users who can read this document library. And then I've continued on creating further drafts based on that major version. Now as you mouse over here, you'll see that we can view and restore any of our previous versions. And once we publish a major version, we also get the option to unpublish that if desired. So again, you'll see that in SharePoint document libraries, we get a very significant amount of control over how we configure our version settings. Now, the best practice, the general recommendation is, is for most document libraries is that you probably don't need to have um, minor versions enabled as well. So in this case, if we just turn off our uh, major and minor and just go back to major versions, so we're going to go back to simply um, doing that, you'll see that the option disappears here and our item security. So anybody who can read the items obviously can see our major versions. If I now save that, that will update the document library. So if I now go back into my documents and select this document again and go to manage, and then look at version history, what we'll see is now we have the previous drafts that remain and we now have um, our document version history continuing. But if I now go in and edit this document now that I've turned off the ability to do minor versions, so drafts, I'm going to go in and edit this once more and add one more edit to this again give that a moment to save and update once that has updated we'll go back to our library and we'll have a look at which versions have now been created so remember in this case what i've done is is i've turned off the ability to have major and minor versions and i've only got major versions so what we should see um, when we go back into our document and select our manage again go into our version history you'll see now that all the versions now are considered major. So every edit we now make is now considered a major version. And if I go back and look at the ordinary user, the user who can read the document, so now if I click on them, because that document that they have access to, you'll see that they have access to all the edits we've made because every time we save, we are saving a major version now. So really that's an example of how you can configure your document library. But in most cases, what you want to do is just ensure that version setting is on, that you create a major version for every document in the library, and that allows you to have a backup that you can return to uh, at any point in time. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video.